hello my family welcome back to our youtube channel max one from kenya hoping that you are doing very fine yeah and hoping that you've woken up because if you're watching max one then god has given you that gift of life yeah to see this beautiful day so let me take this chance to greet you my good people good morning good afternoon good evening and I want to confirm to you that I really love you, my family, because you are good people, actually. So receive my warm greetings from this village of Nyabuhanse. And just know that I always wish you well, wherever you want. Wish you well with your families. And may God bless your works when you wake up to go and work. So it is another beautiful day and it is a chilly morning and we're gonna want to share some two three things you know we have to share because you are a family and thank you so much for always coming back watching my videos i don't take it for granted actually you are the best of the best and the best there is they will be and i usually say there's no no one has got good people like max one and also to those who are so positive i want to tell you that you always be rewarded by the almighty so, so before maybe I, so, I say so much you know today is on second and we want to at least say a word a good word for the souls that you know they left us the good source that they left us when i say that i do mean uh, cj williams sister and also the other good souls that i said we had lost yeah so today they'll be laid to rest and may we say amen so that their souls may rest in peace actually so me i want to use only three seconds to say a good thing so that when they reach there may be god when they he will open their books may we he have these so this is a message to the almighty the creator of earth and heaven my father the creator of earth and heaven and heavenly bodies actually you know we are human beings and we are not perfect we have weaknesses and you put us in this world so that we can do your mission we know we might call you might you know we might maybe we might do things that are not pleasing you but you know we are your children so a humble plea to those who have left us sir william sister cj william sister not sir william cj william sister sorry and the three souls that i said earlier that we've left because we have one i have one of the good subscriber actually a mom who has lost three souls actually very close souls plus the cj williams sister kindly the almighty when you're opening their books at least put their their souls in eternal peace till we meet again i know we are just you know on this art we are traveling and it is just a humble plea because we are not perfect because we do wrong you each single day but we know you are a you are a merciful god and we are your children and we know jesus is our judge and jesus is going to to at least say something you know to our departed souls so that was just a simply a simple plea and may god take it in a humble way because you are not perfect actually for those who are watching may you say something good something that will touch pray for the souls and may god raise them in eternal peace actually salute so before going to maybe other um, other issues i want to come to our nyabuhansa village because we have to share actually we have to share a lot in our in what is happening in onyabuhansi village here first i want to go to the villa there's a, a certain a certain home here they call a villa 
I know you 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 know you you are not new in this YouTube channel and maybe if you are new then I go by the name Maxon from Kenya I come from this village of Nyabuhanse and I'm talking about one of the home here that has been changed and now it is known as a villa I want to say that right now there's a lot of restrictions in that place actually I have received a lot of complaints actually and I'm even hearing a lot of complaints and me I usually say I always say what is there without any maybe hidings or what because the truth the truth must come out very clearly so I want to say that in down there in that villa that they call the villa I don't know what Medellin I don't know Medellin what I want to say that right now even those who are going there they those small small young boys that they are going there dancing dancing there during the party some even were volunteering to work uh, for the shout out I want to say that right now when they go there <coughs> the only thing that they they, they do is the U-turns because they go when they reach at the gate there's another there's other instructions that, that have been added on top that never allow anyone in the compound may it be who <laughs> sometimes I do and you know sometimes I do say it is better to be yourself it is better to be yourself don't don't depend don't depend on someone that maybe when he's not there you cannot you cannot do anything eh? because I watched I watched one of the boys yeah so there are so many people so many boys from this this village that opened a YouTube channel and they went there actually to yeah so many were volunteering for free you know my 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 phone has got some some complications but yeah it stops if sometimes it stops sometimes it's just you know so my good family so I, I was saying that you know that so those young 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 youths from this village who opened their youtube channels and they saw without maybe going for the shout out they can't do anything actually yes they were given subscribers they went there and they were given subscribers we can't say no that is a good move but now you know they had taken that home like their own home that is what I saw because now they felt like ah we've been here volunteering working you know building the trenches building the wall you know for free and also we've been here arranging we've been given even the departments of during the party we were given departments so this is our home anytime i feel like coming i'll come you know you know what i mean so they have been surprised actually ne day by day this our brother from this village is recruiting new employees those who are were working there they have been sacked day by day they have been sacked even secu the security ones sacked away and now we have only one security guard hmm? untrained because during the party we saw he was even trying to convince us that he's bringing the people is going to bring people from the i don't know where to come and what and put the security and i was like how long will this last and you saw it for yourself it, ne it even went, never went far it even never went far eh? so back to the topic those young men now because i watched one of them was crying at the gate eh? Very, really crying saying that you know i've been here since uh, i was given what to the, the, each, the department of uh, 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 to serve in this in this villa for three months and now i'm so shocked i've been i have come here uh i sat here for almost four hours five hours they don't want to open for me the gate 
you know and i saw <laughs> there's another one who was comforting him that you know there's the, uh, there's new rules new rules and regulations meaning that home does is not belonging to you the way they do brag here you know they do brag a lot that oh as now we are the people who say eh, we are the people who when we say to cook they cook when we say they they jump they jump when we say uh, shut up they shut up but now you can see they have been exposed they have been exposed and i told them that my friends be you eh? don't rely on someone that if he's not there you cannot do anything eh? so the information is that each and every day there are new rules and regulations and i told them that when this party is over let everyone pack his luggages and even the father of this brother the owner of that villa told them that now nah, we've been with you the message was very clear to them very short and brief that now the party has come to an end i want you to rearrange and pack your luggages in 30 seconds and leave a room for my son and his wife at least to have some but now these young men they don't understand because they think that that is just a villa where you can just go and storm what 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 hmm? everyone to stick in their own homes eh? because the party is no longer there but they are just there give someone a privacy at least to do his work eh? give someone even a, a peace even to 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 bring us the, 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 the to do the job so that even we can see the children coming out not every time or every time or which time will they bring even the the, ch the children eh? because i'm coming to that i have a message to for Rocio. Eh? so right now it is very clear that there's no one who is needed down there if you go down there you have a special gift that you want to gift out but for those youths from this village here the brother is done with you huh is done with you ayamaro has is done with you actually let me tell you the truth is done with you because you have nothing new to offer the services that he wanted to offer was during the party yeah you know he's very intelligent sometimes i can say he's very intelligent because he used you he conducted a party he received what he received a lot of donations came a lot of gift came and now the party is not there so what he wants to tell you in a clear indication by changing the rules and regulation at the gate is that what was you were supposed to do is no longer there you are no longer needed inside because you are you you <laughs> your services that you were supposed to give they are no longer needed they entered at the party because some were given the the mandate of all oh, being the the security around what their reception cooking what what and we are seeing so don't waste your time and even uh, working at this village bragging for nothing because you are exposing yourselves and you are seeing eh? that is a home for someone leave that person in peace let him even impregnate his wife at a good time eh? or if you have a, a big uh, uh, mm, cows you can you can you can transport them there you will be opened and everything will just go on well but if you don't have a special gift because right now the only people who goes there are the ones that have got special gifts you go you just been opened because right now now you reach at the gate you don't even see the face of the one who is opening for you you just knock after knocking you give your name after giving your name the contact of the contact you have been found the reason why is he is he or she at the gate if the reason is not if you don't have nothing to offer you will just stay there for six hours mm, like you are confused you, you you don't know have your own home 
you will be complaining on camera that I have been here uh, for six for six and this lady have been here for what she had not even taken lunch shut up grow up man up you know if someone is not needing you in his compound if your services cease to be important in that in that home then why are you forcing yourself to be there already the, he has given you the shout outs he have given the subscribers that you are bragging about yes you are saying that oh our, our channels are not growing what 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 your channels will grow yes you are saying yes he gave you the subscribers then why don't you use the subscribers that he gave you he gave you so that you might not be crying each and every time that oh what and what and what because me i usually say as a man believe in yourself that you can make it Le come from scratch go up up you know in your own ways the way i said i max one i won't listen to the, what people are saying if they think that my people and I, we cannot make it, then we are going to prove them that for sure we are united and we can do something that it will shock many. And already they have been shocked. They have been shocked and they have been shocked. Hmm? I told you. I told you. Huh? I told you. So, the message to my fellow youths, those who goes there, those who open the YouTube channel, thinking that content is porridge, thinking that por content is water. I want to tell you that, my friends, you have to be creative, innovative, and also you have to have, any, every, day by day, you have to have something that you should put on the video so that your audience can watch. Don't think that being given the shout out because you had given a, a place to volunteer, being given shout outs, or you are given uh, work to do and you volunteered and you are given shout outs, my friend, that it does not work like that. So if you're not needed there, stay to your home, give the people the content. We don't want you to see you crying at the gate that I've been here and the U-turn and now going home without being opened. And this home had been my home. This villa has been my home. I what, what, what. I've been the one who have been receiving the visitors. But now I cannot be received. Call you net and, and even sleep. Because what you are saying to people does not make sense. Eh? And to you, my brother Ayamaro, you know, when you want to maybe to tell someone that you don't want that person to you at least why don't you call them for a meeting and tell them for sure from today i want my privacy instead of you if instead of them coming and complaining at your gates eh? why don't you because you say that your people have bought master classes i think now t through the master class you're communicating why don't you tell them why should we see things on camera why should we see things at the gate eh? No, that one should not be like that. That one is, a, is put aside. Hmm? I want to come to <laughs> a message now to Rocio, the wife of Vaya Maru. I want to say that for sure, from intelligent, from intelligence perspective, all intelligent can see this from far. The people who use wisdom, they can see this from far. Eh? My sister, you came in this village, will come to you very much. You are happy, at least, that you were close to our brother, because that is our brother, and we should always protect our brother. You know? We were very, we were very happy because me, when Ayamaro came in this village, at that time, you know, there were ladies here. You remember them, the, the peers, uh, the whom they were calling themselves the foot soldiers and whatever. And their characters were not pleasing at all at all at there, but right now they have changed at least because even I can see Minhawi, she's very, very happy at the village here. She's now, she has adopted the culture and the costumes and even the characters of the people from the village here. And now she is now our in-law. Because when she came from where she came from, I don't know what was disturbing her, but I, I said in my mind that one day she'll come and realize it and she'll be just low and low. Now, 
when they were at the villa there, even when the cake was brought, eh, when King of Traveller came with the cake and the other, the other sister, they, they brought the same man the, the cake. You remember the story? And these three, three, three of them, you know, the fake one that they were calling the PA, what, what, the foot of, the, the, the soldier, the foot, the foot soldier, I don't know what. Those who, who cracked the, the cake away, you remember them? Now, the way they are behaving down there, we saw, ah, this is not a good way of how people should behave. Because they are now taking like, eh? there is no one who can have access to that villa. Eh? They are the one now controlling. They are pretending to be the controller because you have to pass through them before you do what, what. And God came out and brought Rocio to the village, the girlfriend to Ea Marwa. That Maro always called mom, 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 mom. Mom, everything is mom. Everything is mom. Everything is mom. Everything is mom. You know? We have we, we reali we've realized that our brother really loves Rocio so much. Even the blind can see. Even the deaf can hear. You know? We were very glad. Even me was glad when you when Rocio came in our village. And I was so much great and happy when I saw Maro going to pick her at the airstrip here, near our village here. Huh? Because I, I, I said in my heart that, oh, those all characters that we are seeing being portrayed in that villa now is going to, to reduce because now the honor of the everything is now, has now come. You know, during the party, we were keenly observing. Rocio was a very good sister in law of us. Eh? Yeah, she cooperated very well till the party ended. But now, my sister, if you are watching this video, me, I go by the name Max, one from Kenya, just your neighbor here. Now I want to say, I want to say something to you. Because we realize that everything that you tell our brother to do, he does it without even, even think, he, he does not even think twice. When you say bring the horses, he just say yes. When you say bring what, he just say yes. Meaning, he's trying to make you happy. You know, he's trying to make you feel someone special hmm? now me what i can say to you my sister because me we should always be brothers keepers what i can say eh? what i can say to you as a sister eh? and also as i've said we should always be brothers keepers you know i'm changing the the location because the sun the sun is coming what I can say to you as my sister, as a sister and also as our in-law, is only one thing. Only one thing. If you really love our brother so much, because we understand the Argentina ladies, we understand, you know, the country very well. We understand the kind of ladies that comes from Argentina. They are loving, they are good people, you know. They, are, they, they, are, they don't fear. Actually, they are so brave. You know, very brave, very intelligent, you know, hardworking, you know, they have good hearts, you know. But now what I want to say to you, my sister, is only one thing. Why don't you give our brother a child? Eh? Because everything that he says to you, everything that you say to him is yes, yes, yes. And I want to say this. You know, our brother, for sure, he never wanted the horses, because horses for what? Eh? For sure, horses for what? Eh? Because here, what are you even using the horses to do? To travel? To go to the market? To, to shop? Eh? To drive you in the compound? You know? 
Even that man that was used to buy the horses could have been used to to make something useful, you know? Because you already have the cows, you have the goats, you have the pigeons, you have the fish, you have everything in that villa that you want to tame. Now the horses, I was like, ah, you know, our brother is because he's in love and he has decided to at least to make the to make the girlfriend our 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 in-law happy. Even me was happy, yes. But also I, I saw it in a, another perspective that these horses were not needed. You know, our brother never needed the horses. Hmm? Because me, the other time I listened to him, he was saying that, you know me, I want to build. I want to build the A and, a and B for the tourists. And the cars that I will buy, I'll buy the cars that will be transporting the tourists from my home, from the, the, the house that I will, the triangle. He was saying that he's going to build the triangle houses, you know. So that when they come, those cars will be transporting the tourists to the Masai Mara here, Serengeti. You know, we have a lot, three national parks here. And I was like, ah, that is a good, brilliant idea. You know, at least it can bring some income and even generate something you know, on the table. But now, I want to say that love is too powerful. Love, love can make you even sit on fire. You know, love can make you yeah, hang yourself. Love can make you even speak the English that you can't even speak. You know, love can make you to change even your character. Love can make you, people to think that you, are, you, you have gone insane, but it is because of love. So me what I'm seeing, if you truly love our brother, because our brother is sacrificing everything for you. Hmm? Going from here, from outside this villa, village, to far away village, Eldoret, to buy the horses actually. Putting them on, the ro uh, on, on cars. Huh? Even the horses injuring themselves. Huh? It is because he loves you and he wants the best for you and he wants to make you happy and he wants to make you feel special and he wants to make you at least, you know, to make you feel you are more important than anything. I don't know if you are making, I'm making sense. I don't know if I'm making sense. Huh? He wants to make you feel all those things. But now, how can you return the happiness to him? How can you return the happiness back to him? Is by giving him, just give him a baby. Because he said that he wants, he wants white, he wants a white lady who will give him the children. So why don't you just apply the color to his children? What I, that is what I can say because maybe the reason why our brother wants the white kid, the white lady, is because of the he wants the kids, the white kids, and also the access to other, you know, international maybe, you know, relationship, and also you know when you marry a white lady and you are a black man, a white lady applies the color to your children. You might be very very black as a charcoal. Uh, and the wife is very very white she has a she's white and when you you know you know when you eat the fruit and uh, the fruit bowl and uh, you give birth you know the child come out a white one you know because of the the mother has applied the 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 white color on the baby so me i was in this perspective maybe looking at this Maybe that is the reason why our brother want to marry a white lady. Of which even me, that is not a good, a good thing because anyone can marry from any country that he needs, that he wants. You can marry an Indian, you can marry an uh, American, you can marry uh, anyone, you know, a Muslim, you know. But now, my sister, why can't you at least 
change the shape, you know. Why don't you change the shape, at least, so that we can see at least the energy that our brother, you know, is trying to show you love is not going from, is not going just on air. It is at least coming with something. Why don't you change the shape? We want to see you with an oval shape. Why? Eh? Because you are eating very well. You are sleeping very well. Anything that you ask our brother, he gives you. Even the horses, they are there because of you. Eh? Everything. You know? So do us a favor. Do our brother a favor. At least change the shape. Change the shape. Just for nine months and you make our brother happy. You make the, even the, the in-laws happy. You know? He's the first son. And even the, the, even the, you know, let me say, say this. Let me say this, you know, as a first, you know, as a first son in a home, the, child, the parents have got high expectations of even seeing the grandchildren. At that age of our brother, uh, the parents could be enjoying the, the warm, you know, of the grandchildren, you know. So don't keep our sister. Don't keep our brother waiting, and at least change the shape so that now we can for sure say, for sure now, we have an in-law known as Rocio from Argentina, and we shall respect you and respect you more. Eh? But if you are playing cards, then even God will never forgive you. God will never forgive you. Let me tell you the truth. If you are ch trying, trying games, God will never forgive you. If you are here, maybe you want to build your channel, get the target that you want to get, and later say that I want to go back and say what, what, what and that will be the end of you being in here. And you, already, you are already here, and our brother is taking you well as his wife, then even God will never forgive you. So that was a simple message. And also I want to speak to Ayamara because me when I see things now the the houses are there in the villa in the in the villa right now. But now there is no feeds. You know there is special hay for the feed of the of the horses. And even I can't say that where the horses have come from they were being treated very nicely, no, because even them they have even those horses have ticks. They have ticks, so you have to go to the veterinary to to at least to deploy. We'll be now deploying him maybe twice a week so that he can keep he can keep these horses in a good, give them the correct, you know, medicine. Chemi uh, at least pumping the, the, the chemical on their skin to kill the, the ticks, external ticks, you know, and even the internal ones. But me, I'm seeing that is just putting on overloading, overloading over things, expenses that could have even be used to at least to help the poor in our village. But it is because of love and that has been, you know, you understand my people what I'm saying. Now, the challenge also comes to this ma young man known as Alex in that villa. Because Alex now, is the one is being maltasked, maltasked because he's there as a security. He's there to look for the cows. He's there to look for the horses. He's there to, to day and night as a security in the name that my, um, our brother is building for him a tree house, actually. You know, someone might, might use you, but you might not understand, actually. You might not understand. But we know. Alex is just there because he's saying that, oh, if I go out from this, from this home, how will my, my, my homestead, you know, be built? I want to say to you that what God has put for you, no one can take it from you. You are living even before you went there. I'm not saying that you should live there, but at least my brother, Yamaru, try to give him one task. If he's a security man, let him be a security man. Because I saw you were giving him instruction that let the horses not feed on the maize of the pigeons. Eh? Now the horses are eating even the, the maize of the pigeons, you know. 
the, the feeds of the pigeons. Eh? You are maltasking this person, this young man. Try to, you know, to put the, the, the loads, the work of workloads, you know, give him even two, but four, that is too much. You are overworking this young man. And God does not see it very well. Because even if you want to do something for someone, eh, it is not a must that he, he has to be a worker. You know? No, 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 no. You can just give out even without asking. Without even you employing that person to be what and what at you. Yeah? Hmm? Sometimes, me, I do get emotional. I do only say that if I was in that potential of me doing it, I would have done it. Because this 24th century, you, you are in that list you call yourself a rich person. And you are building, you are taking advantage of someone because you are building for him a tree house. Hmm? And also you are putting him on camera so that people can donate. Eh? Sometimes it is not a good thing, but only God will be the judge. Only God will be the judge. But the message to you, my brother, try to at least the workload, give him one. Because people who are doing there, people, people who are working there, they only work for two months, three months, they are sacked. One month they are sacked. Well, sacked, you know? And that is why you see these young men are complaining now at the gates. I've been there, sitting, the U-turn. I want just to make a U-turn and go. Hmm? That is it. Hurt me, love me. The truth will always be bitter. And you have to take the juice because the, the truth is always the medicine, you know. You just take this injection, this bitter injection, and everything is just going to be okay, you know. So, that is all about maybe I can say from our village here, Nyabuhanse. So I want to go back to Jamaica, you know. I want to go to Jamaica and at least we share one too about the our sister Dimwango is the who is back there. <laughs> I want to say that the truth will always remain to be the truth and no one will hide anything. Our sister had been there. Dimwango had been in Jamaica. I can now say for the past five months now. And you remember when she went there, she finished three months and the visa expired, she renewed the visa. She extended the stay because Jamaicans are good people. I already done a video and told you why. People, alt content creators are going to Jamaica, you know? Because when you go there, the views are good, the people are good, the food is good, the nature, everything, you know? Positive vibes is there. But now I want to tell you why Dimwangu is leaving Jamaica. Because it is not that she's living there because she does, she 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 maybe she intend to leave. No. Actually, the stay has ceased. You know, the visa that she renewed for the stay has commenced. Now she has to come back. She will have to come back even here for one month and go back again and renew the visa back again to Jamaica hmm? because you cannot renew three times you'll have a good reason why you are renewing that visa for three times that you want to extend your stay in a place you know so she has come out with a tricky tricky and tricky stories that oh you know I have a special occasion you know that I have to attend and yeah, and it is a very special one, so I have to cut the stay so that, you know, I will go and attend the special one, the special occasion, and come back. I want to say to you, my sister, you know, me, if I had that, maybe, if I was in that position, I would have made you to stay there forever. Because when you are there, you are happy. 
you are doing well your channel is growing you are being taken well yeah you are even growing fat you know you came from you know when you travel to jamaica you are slim but right now you can see the the, the meat the meat has ha, has increased yeah has been added to your body the weight has been added meaning that you are doing very well and all the videos that you are doing maybe crying here and there that you are leaving jamaica that is how it works you know when you sign that you want to live there for three months four months then you are allowed but when t when the, the visa you have to come back maybe you come to renew again and go back there's no one who is maybe against that but i want to say that the main reason why she's coming out from Jamaica because even she's still in Jamaica because she doesn't want to come you know she was packing the things for two days something that she would have packed even for two hours but she's packing for two days you know even the landing destination that she wanted to land you can go check her on the video because she's our sister and me I like what she's doing but sometimes she do cries a lot she do complaints a lot faking stories here and there but I can say she's a good motivational spirit huh? as our sister from Yabuhans here all our way all our way to Jamaica I can say that yes everything that she does there is good I can say that but sometimes when she complains here and there that she lies here that oh I'm paying 3200 US dollars in this tree house what and what so things I don't want them, you know. But I want to say that, to me, the only thing that has made her to come, the visa has expired. There's no any special occasion that she's attending. Which special occasion? The, part, the birthday? Building? That's not special occasions. Eh? Because she said that she had a target in 2023 of which she fulfilled what she wanted. And she, she extended the stay. Huh? I think you are getting me very well. Hmm? I hope you are getting me very well. So our sister, we wish you well. Come back home, greet the parents, see how the village has changed at least. If you're going to want to go back, you just go back. But don't force yourself maybe there, what and what, because what you wrote on the paper has come to an end you just come we are welcoming you to our village actually because we love you as a sister you know we are proud of what you are doing representing us in different countries yes but also just know that we don't want lies lies here and there we shall expose you we shall always be exposing you because we are not there to tolerate any any cheap lies you know no, 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 no. Yeah, so the truth should always remain the truth. And the devil will always be ashamed, you know. So my people, you know, I'm coming from this village of ours here in Yabansa village. It is a village, actually. And when, do, when we are doing the vlogs, let at least show the kind of nature that we have in our village. Because you are not in a city. We are just in a village. So this is the kind of village that we have, the stones, the trees, the grasses, you know, and the people, as Max Swan from this village. Yeah. So I want to say that my family, you are good people. Thank you very much for the support and everything. And I want to say that the boy that I took to school the other time, you know, I want to say that first shout out to my brother, Masubawan, at least. You know, by God's grace, we managed at least to take the child to the school. Yeah, but the school fees had been a challenge. But I know the Almighty is going to open doors and the child is going to to remain in school, actually. And, and what? I want to say that we, we wish the boy the best of the best. So that at least because his dream is to become a doctor. So let him attend the dream and he has he promised that he's going to be number one 
in that school with a very good grade because he started in a difficult situation and he promised me and may promise that if he will be a good boy God is going to open more doors for him you know yeah and me I adopt him as my son because already I have some children who are in school eh? they do say oh Max one what what because you don't what what but me I know that I am doing my part you know I have the way I can support I support despite I'm a poor man even me I'm being supported I can say that even these people who are seeing that oh they are building good houses here even the villa that I was talking about in Marwa's place that is not the money for Marwa that is full donation hmm? from the, 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 the CCTV someone brought it for him the lights someone brought it for him the work the, the workloads building the wall free you know building the home the villa people volunteered you know them huh? so me i can say let no one come and attack me for these small things that i'm trying to do for example me saying on, that this one this young boy is an orphan he has been home for three weeks others are in school because eh? maybe God has given them the chance but this one has is less privileged he has not attended the school hmm? so kindly let's support this young man to go to school and someone comes on the comment attacking me then that person must have a black heart eh? so I'm thankful to the almighty because it is not me it is not me that I whom I did it no it is not me but God and also the good people who have seen that let this boy let's give out small so that at least he can go to school and I know it I would have even I would have even maybe been supported with the, you know I have good moms who supports me but as I said today you are mourning and my mom is there actually she's there and she's mourning also yeah and she's laying laying the three souls to rest and that is why eh? but if she was in that position maybe you would know these difficulties of mourning she would have supported also because I saw uh, some people could have, have been asking oh what about the one who usually supports Max one why has she why is she not mm, supported the child I want to say that it is because she has a she has she has a barriers and not even a barrier barriers you know but for those good people my family whom you watched the video and touched you and you said let's at least buy the bag for this young man let's buy the shoes let's you know pay the the, the shopping you know the shopping that you did you know let's at least you know buy the buckets for this young man let's you know the sleepers you know the bag the, you know what i'm talking the uniform the iron box for this young man to go and i went there and i talked to the principal the principal is a good man he told me yes max one you paid the half of the money of the school fees. Actually, I paid only 6000 for the school fee, the school uniform. And it was supposed to be paid 12000 So I have a debt of 6000 on school uniform. I haven't paid that. The school fees, the principal told me that Max 1, you can go. But at least when God opened the doors, bring the school, the school, school fees because this child is, is innocent. Hmm? Good people came and said, ah, we can buy the iron box. Nice. The shoes. Nice. Eh? So, may I surely say, blessings will come later. Because God has got everyone's destiny. Eh? God will bless you. If he won't bless you, he will bless your child. 
if you won't bless your child then you will bless your grandchild children in other ways and you will never even you never even be feelings like you have a lot of you know we have different of people on this earth there are those people who want to see you suffer huh? for no reason but me i usually say god has got his own plans yeah if you hate me that is your own opinion yeah? because you can't force yourself to love me and you don't love me but there are those who loves me as their son there are those who loves me as their brother so when they are supporting small don't get envy yeah? because when i say that ah, i am building i want to build a, our home at least the children to have a shelter some were very negative some even criticize said max one uh, tell us the who is building what and what they were underrating me and saying that oh i cannot do it but the almighty is who is above is ashaming the devil eh? god is using good people at least to support me at least to to build that home i can't say that is it is my my home it is our home a home for many good souls eh? so Thank you very much for always coming watching my videos. Actually, I want to say that God will bless you and bless you. So our video ends here. Let's see each other tomorrow when I'll be uploading another video. God bless you and bless you. Bless your families. Good health and salute to all the positive and the good souls.